Welcome to the Crypto Sphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you. Today is Friday, April 8th at 7:37 a.m. here in Northern California, and the market is taking a dip. We're going to talk about the dip today. We're going to do an analysis of where the market is and where we think the market is going. So hold on to your knickers. And let's jump right in and see what <laughs> I don't know why I said that. All right. Um Yes. Uh, let's start with Bitcoin. Now, the first thing that becomes apparent when we look at this Bitcoin chart is this big, juicy red candle here. If we go from the, the, the top of the wick to the bottom of the wick, including the body, we see that Bitcoin dropped 5.39% day before yesterday. So that's a 5.39% drop in one day. Now, if we kind of zoom out a little bit, still on this daily chart, what we see is we broke above, broke bullish above this ascending triangle. And typically that's what you do. You break bullish above ascending triangles. Um, there's a difference between an ascending wedge and an ascending triangle. If the support on top is flat like this one, then it's bullish. You tend to bounce around in here and break bullish out of it. And that's what we expected, especially with Bitcoin breaking bullish. Uh, we expected the altcoins to break bullish as well. Um, in my Patreon, I did this XRP chart. Uh, when was it? A few days ago, in which I expected XRP to follow the same path as Bitcoin and to break bullish above this ascending triangle. Uh, but instead, XRP, as I posted in my Patreon a couple days ago, or yesterday, XRP is broken bearish out of an ascending triangle, which is rare. I mean, it happens, but it's rare. And so, but if we see, if we go back to the Bitcoin chart, we need to understand this so that we see what's happening with the altcoin. So first of all, I identified 42,366 as the support and it looks like we found support just shy of there support right now is at 42,749 so that's about four hundred dollars off uh, nonetheless this support range support zone seems like it's going to hold uh, looks like we've got a, a nice bounce in the rsi there if it starts moving up again we're good um but this this um 5.39 percent drop day before yesterday in a single candle if we compare litecoin litecoin in the same candle dropped 9.19 percent xrp dropped 7.29 percent bch 10.59 percent theta token 12.15 percent t fuel 12.52 percent matic 8.77 percent and XLM 10.38%. So I could go on and on and on through all of the altcoins to see that basically Bitcoin's 5% drop for the average altcoin is about doubled and sometimes more than doubled. Let's see, if I pull up my altcoin market cap chart, uh, what we see here, this is the total market cap minus Bitcoin. I was expecting a retest of this line and then a breakout. So I'm going to delete this for a moment and just focus in on this drop here to see how the altcoin market as a whole compares with what Bitcoin did. So the altcoin market as a whole dropped 7.92% to Bitcoin's 5%. So Bitcoin 5.39%, altcoin market 7.92%. So on average, the altcoins dropped about 60% more than Bitcoin dropped, 50 to 60% more uh, than Bitcoin dropped. And that's that tends to be what happens. So here's the thing. If you're holding altcoins rather than Bitcoin, what tends to happen is Bitcoin's pullbacks are exaggerated in the altcoin market. But Bitcoin's breakouts are also exaggerated in the altcoin market. So if Bitcoin does 50% up, the altcoin market's going to do 75% up or even more than 100% up. 
uh, Bitcoin's moves in either direction are exaggerated by the altcoin market. And so, so the question is, what is this pullback? Does it mean that we're breaking down? No, it simply means that the market needed to rest. All right. I mean, if you look at this whole bullish move here, it started on March 14th and we get to the top of it on March 29th. That's basically two weeks of bullishness. Like uh, you cannot have an infinite progression of green candles. You just can't. So I was expecting us to rest up here for a while before taking off again. But it looks like we've come down to test this line here at 42,320. And in all honesty, we could come all the way down to retest this line at 39,000 and still have a bullish break. Um, it's not bearish for me until we break beneath this triangle. Okay, so uh, it's not bearish yet. So what we can still see even is we could come down to retest this. Let's try that again. We could even come down to test this line before breaking out. And you know what? We could even come down to test it again before breaking out. So it's not impossible. Um, will we do that? I don't know. I, I don't see evidence yet that, that we're going to come back to retest 39,000, but it's always possible and so it's basically just a patience game right now. I still believe that the market is bullish. Um, the next step for Bitcoin is to retest 52,000, but we've got to see 42,366 hold. And we might get a bounce off of that line and just break out bullish. I mean, that the path could look something like, like this. Oops. Sorry. The path could look something like this down here, and then we just break out. So we're just going to watch it and see. Um, projections are nothing more than projections. We're simply taking information that the chart gives us, and we're making our, our best uh, educated projections as to what's happened. Yeah, so, I mean, we could see that there's this range of support that I would have expected. I didn't draw it for the LTC chart, but I drew it for other charts. I drew it for Zillica. Uh, taking a look at XRP, we're coming down to this line. We found support here. I expected the support to be between 71 and 75 cents. Looks like we found support at 75 cents. What I'm waiting for is to for evidence that the RSI has bottomed out. And when there's evidence that the RSI has bottomed out, then we can begin to discern what the new trend is. Uh, but we've made a lower high, I mean, a lower low here in the RSI. Um, so it's just watching it and we're breaking back beneath that again. So if, if the RSI breaks beneath this line here, this line of support that we hit here on the RSI, uh, then we're probably going to come back down to revisit 71 cents again. So it's just a waiting game, folks. The market just has to rest. Uh, but we're still bullish overall. Theta token coming right down to uh, this line of support here at $3.30, resting on that line after a 12% dip. The RSI does not look as bearish for Theta token. I mean, if you think about it, we're still making a higher low. So the, the RSI on the Theta chart actually looks better than the RSI on the XRP chart. Well, Kind of. Because if you take this low here, we broke beneath it. But if we draw a line here, from a macro perspective, we're still making a higher low. We could probably do the same thing on the XRP chart if we go. No. Well, I mean, if we come all the way back here, then yes. We were doing so good there for a minute. But folks, this moment just just calls for patience. That's all. Um, I honestly believe that stuff is going to do a lot better than we think it's going to do between now and August. Um, between now and August, it's going to be epic. It's just, when is that actual next 
wave up going to begin? When that wave finally takes off, it's going to be face melting, folks. It's going to be face melting. So, I mean, just to kind of give you an idea of what we could be looking at, if we get another move like this, which is basically half of what the market actually did, it takes us up to, wow, it takes the altcoin market up to two and a half trillion. That's just the altcoins. So between now and August, we could be looking at a $5 trillion crypto market. I know every time I talk like that, people get all bent out of shape. That's impossible. There's not enough money in the world. Blah, 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 blah. Which really is silly in my mind. That, that whole idea that, you know, if I talk about a $14 trillion crypto market, people say there's not enough money in the world. Well, the stock market is what, $90 trillion? I mean, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Real estate market is like $200 trillion. Or maybe the real estate market is $100 trillion. I don't know. But, you know, between the, the stock market and the real estate market, it's crazy insane. And so, you know, we've got a $2 trillion uh, crypto market and everybody's worried about world money running out. I don't think we're anywhere close to that. I think, you know, wake me up when we've got a hundred trillion dollar crypto market, right? I mean, this is, this is small beans. This is nothing guys. This is absolutely nothing. All right. That's enough for today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, but above all else, make sure to make it your primary goal and your aim to sleep in peace every night to wake in joy every morning, and to walk in love every day. This is Cryptogenic, signing out.